Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Elemental Maker. Today, I am going to test out a couple different methods of rust removal. So the wife and I uh, recently put together, as many other have, our, our own home gym. Uh, seeing as our Fuhrer, I mean, um, governor, our governor has decided to shut down all the gyms again. You know that place where people go to get healthy and mentally unwind? Yeah, that one, no good, no good. So you can see here I have three weights that are all pretty scummy and rusty and just generally not fit for use with the with the wife or, or even myself. <laughs> Recently was actually doing a, a little side job. These were in the basement. Uh, the person was evacuating the house, getting rid of everything, said I could take them. So, hey, free weights, not going to complain about that. But they're rusty as hell. So what I want to do is test three different methods of rust removal. First off, standard angle grinder with a wheel. I'm going to test on one of these. Secondly, I'm going to test uh, electrolysis, you know, a little, little bit of lye in the water, some electrolysis. See how that cleans the other up. And finally, I'm going to test evaporust. So I'm going to tell you outright, I am probably a little biased towards the evaporust. One, it's way easier than the other two methods. Way cleaner <laughs> also. Um, and recently, I went to a scrapyard with a buddy and we found a beautiful uh, slit saw for, for his milling machine. Um, issue was it was very, very rusted up. And I could not, he, he put it in evapor rust. This is the first time I ever saw it used. Put it in the evapor rust and my God, after one day in there, the part looked brand new. So <laughs> that's my bias. I'm going to tell you that up front. Uh, not shilling for these guys. I bought this myself. I think it was uh, 15 or 16 bucks at Pep Boys. So uh, pretty good deal in my opinion. Apparently you can actually reuse this stuff. And it's not going to eat your flesh away, which is kind of nice. I'm used to working with much nastier chemicals than that. I'm really curious how this works as well. I believe it's a chelating agent. Doesn't seem to say on there. So, we're going to test three methods. Angle grinder with a, a cup brush. Electrolysis. Evapor rust. Let's see how they work out. Got the patented flesh destroying wire cup on there. And of course, that's got to be paired with the ultimate safety gloves. Very high quality. I shouldn't joke, these actually are really good gloves. But I've just beat the shit out of them. So, as you guys probably could have guessed, major issue with the cup <sighs> can't get down in the recesses so that still looks like shit so you can use a wire brush to help get in there eh, not perfect i'll uh, i'll keep at it for a little bit good for the lungs make sure you inhale as much as possible <laughs> You can see the backside's in a lot better shape. Still pretty rusted up, but you can see the uh, coating they use on here. Some sort of like parkerized or uh, maybe just a black paint. I think it's probably a parkerizing. Not exactly sure, but it doesn't matter. It's coming off. So, you can see from that biggest limitation with the brush cup is one let's see how you do evapor rust well I do have to say it surprisingly doesn't even really sting already got it in a cut looks like there's some kind of surfactant in there it's a little bubbly uh, I don't know I'd love to know what they actually are using in here Safety data sheets I could find all listed as proprietary. So they definitely have a good trade secret going. All right, guys. So as you can see, I have remedied my horrific attempt at electrolysis <laughs> and built a proper electrolysis setup. 
So I have my weight here, obviously that is acting as the cathode, just suspended on some copper wire. And my two anodes here, oh, didn't think that one through. A couple pieces of rebar that I braze some copper wire onto. And they're obviously connected, so we have one connection for the anode, one connection for the cathode. So let's fill this up with some uh, washing soda solution. Now since I ran the evapor rust for 48 hours, it's only fair that we run this for 48 hours. I'm a bit concerned about hydrogen buildup in the house, honestly. So I'm gonna have to like put in a little, uh, little exhaust fan. We'll get that running. Three, two, one. A lot less action than I thought I'd be seeing, but still some action. Yeah, I see why Project Farm did it with the <laughs> a nice clear fish tank. This is going to be useless. By the way, if you want to see a good video on this stuff, go watch his uh, his video on Evapo Rust. Always, always good content from Project Farm. Love that channel. May need to mix up my solution. It looks like it's a lot more conductive down at the bottom, which means I have like a bit of a phase separation. Oh, damn, you can feel the electricity in the water, huh? That's pretty wild. Woo! Oh, that's juicy. <laughs> Never felt electrified water before. That's actually. Uh, it's because I have a cut on that finger. Wow, you can really feel it. So, here we are 48 hours later. I uh, should have gotten some film beforehand. About halfway through, this whole thing was covered in just a thick, nasty layer of gunky rust diarrhea. And, uh,. I gave it a quick stir to try to get a glance at, at the weight, and, uh, and then it all just settled to the bottom, so I kind of screwed the pooch there. Oh, actually looks like she cleaned up pretty well. Look at that. That's pretty surprising. Let me uh, bring this sucker over to the sink and see what we're looking at. Wow, look at that. All right, let me just go run this under the water real quick and we'll see how it turned out. Here we are at the end of the test and comparing apples to assholes, <laughs> I will tell you right off the bat, Evapo Rust definitely took it. Um, of course, there's trade-offs for everything though. Uh, I would say in order of <laughs> what, what I would prefer doing, Evapo rust if you have the time. Now both of these, the evapor rust and the electrolysis, were performed for 48 hours. And the electrolysis actually did half decent. It's got a much better surface finish than it looks like in the camera. And it does appear to be mostly down to bare metal. But it, it's nowhere near what the evapo rust is at. Um, that being said, these both take 48 hours. If you don't have the time and you need to get paint on something that day, wire wheels your choice i mean it's it's a, a no-brainer of course you have the standard issues with wire wheel of getting into recess features getting into bores uh, you can see i haven't cleaned that out yet but uh this was the side that was in really good shape looks beautiful now in further comparison to these two i just don't think electrolysis really holds an edge because you got to consider you need the apparatus you need a power supply you need to deal with venting the gases because they're explosive. I live in an old drafty house, not an issue, but if you're in a modern tight, tight enclosure, uh, that might be a bit more of a concern. The only time I could really see this winning big time is for larger parts because there's no limit to the size of the electrolysis apparatus you can build. I highly doubt you want to buy 55 gallons of evapor rust, even at 14 bucks a gallon. That adds up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will leave a link to what I can in the description. Uh, you know, if you end up buying some Evapor Rust off Amazon, it'll help the channel out. I'll also leave a link to the Patreon if you want to directly support the channel. And uh, keep these videos coming. Truly appreciate that. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Have a great one.